So about eight months ago, a company called Juntec sent me a wireless power supply to review. And, uh, you know, it was pretty cool. It was innovative. It was different. And anyways, they asked me if I would review a signal generator for them. And I said, sure. Because my current signal generator kind of feels like something that came out of the bottom of the cereal box. So hopefully this one's a little bit nicer. And while... I don't have an oscilloscope, and I know I really should to review a signal generator. Um, I can at least get an idea of the build quality, how well the user interface works, and uh, do a teardown and some practical use. Oh, nice little retail box. So yeah, I can tell already this one's definitely going to be better than what I'm currently using because what I'm currently using is one of these, oops, one of these guys right here. It's just a $60 cheapo. It does work. Um, the user interface is a little janky and the build quality is a little questionable. So actually, uh, I'll probably be doing a giveaway on this one. So I guess pay attention later and uh, maybe I'll set this up and give away my old one. Oh uh, yeah, the specs on this is uh, up to 800, uh, 80 megahertz. I should pay attention to how this box opens. And uh, up to 25 volts peak to peak. And two channel, which of course they're independent from each other, so you can have two different things going on at the same time. Hmm. I'll just take a quick peek at that. Not bad. All in English. Okay. So it is kind of a little smaller. I mean, still bigger than what I have, but it's a uh, Kind of a compact size, which probably is a good thing. Oh, it takes a good old PC cord. It's interesting. All right, well, let me get this thing set up. So in the box, it did come with a BNC to BNC. This has something to do with the programming features where it can be triggered by an external Device, something or another, uh, I don't really worry about that. Um, you know, certification card. There's their email and their website. If you can see that. Okay. It did come with one set of test leads or alligator clips on one end, BNC on the other. Um, I'll be using that. And then came with a uh, USB cable, which I read somewhere can do software updates or firmware updates. Maybe something to do with the programming features too. Yeah, I don't know. But if you just pull out sides here you can adjust the handle and it does tuck away nicely on the lowest setting there so this is going to be my first impressions of the user interface which is very important to me at least because in my opinion if i have to read the user manual to figure out how to use it there's some failure there they, i shouldn't have to study the owner manual to figure out how to use it don't get me started on hacko because <laughs> And they do have that alarm clock interface. And let's hope this is better than that. We're going to go with English. Okay, looking good so far. So let's just say I want a square wave. Um, oh, okay. Looks good. Let's do the duty cycle at 50%. So how would I do that? Um, what am I missing here? Hmm. If I just type in a number? Oh, okay. Enter. Where is the enter button? Man, I'm already making a mess of this, ain't I? I wonder if that did it. How do we set the voltage? Amplitude? We're going to have to go with 12 volts? I wonder if that will... No, it's still on 5 volts. What am I doing wrong here? Amplitude... Um... Oh, 
I'll just do this. There we go. Okay, 12 volts. Do I need, is this enter? I don't even know yet. Yeah, I guess that is. Turn off channel 2. Okay, channel 2 off, I guess. All right, channel 1 on. Um, so is it sending out a signal right now? I think so. Let's find out. What is the frequency? Helps if I set the frequency. All right. 10,000 hertz. Whoops, that's why is the channel 2 lit up though? Frequency hertz. Um Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I figured it out. There's a little hand symbol that shows you which channel you're adjusting and I had that little hand symbol on channel two instead of channel one. So I think I got what I want now. I want 100 hertz, 12 volts peak to peak, a 50% duty cycle. So if I hook up an LED, we should get some blinky blinks here. Make sure I give this the right clarity. Looks like that's negative and this should be positive. Oh, it's got this kind of greasy. Hmm. At 100 hertz, I think we should be seeing that flashing. Oh, okay. I guess we can't see 100 hertz. So at, at 10 hertz, we can see that it's working. Okay. So the inter user interface isn't bad. It just took me a few minutes of messing around to kind of figure everything out. And I do like the display. That's a nice touch. Uh, what should we do next? Should we tear it apart? Let's tear it apart. Before I destroy it, I did notice it does hold its memory when you shut it off. So when you turn it back on, it remembers its last settings, which is a nice improvement over those cheaper $60 jobbies that uh, when you shut it off, it forgets everything, and then you have to go back through and reset everything to use it. So nice touch, guys. All right, um, take it apart. I get it off? No, oh, it's got a stopper on it. Hmm. Alright, just get that out of the way. Let's see some screws. got a clip right there okay we are inside okay that's it's definitely a bigger motherboard than what's in my other one my other one just has just a tiny little uh, board up at the face okay and there's the connections for the LCD got a little arm microcontroller there probably for the display that's a BGA chip there A black printed circuit board. And there's the power supply. Let's see if we can check out the brand of cap on there. TPO. I don't know. Might end up having to replace that a few years down the road. Maybe, maybe not. I said the same thing about my Chinese power supplies too, but those caps are still working fine in those. Yeah, I don't know. First impressions is not bad, but then again, I'm not an expert on signal generators. Hmm. It's got a nice smell to it. Chinese plastic smell. I'll go away after a while. Hey, what is this here? I wonder if that's power input. Oh, yeah, I suppose it is, because if you look at this power supply here, it leads right to where that jack is. I could read the directions too. There's USB, uh, probably external triggers, TTL level maybe, 5 volts, I don't know. I don't need any of this. Okay. Now I'm going to actually use it. As a cluster repair technician, I use a signal generator to simulate both the vehicle speed sensor and the RPM for testing instrument clusters. 
So right now I have channel one wired to the mile per hour and channel two wired to the tax signal input. I got them both set to 12 volts, square wave, 50% duty cycle. Uh, and now if I hit channel one, get the little, little finger point in there so I know I'm changing channel one, I have the frequency highlighted. So if I turn the knob up and down, let me just switch over to a wide view here. Um, you should see the mile per hour change. And that works good. I should be able to switch over to channel two. And I got the frequency highlighted. So if I turn the knob, it should adjust the RPMs and it is. Okay, and what I'm noticing with this signal generator is I'm getting a smoother transition with frequency changes with the, uh, the cheaper one. I'd get a little jitter in between one frequency to the next and I could actually see the needles uh, twitching just a little bit, but switch back to channel one. With this, it's definitely smoother. There isn't a little bit of a garbled mess between frequencies. It just makes a smooth adjustment. If you are interested in buying one of these, I will leave a link in the description that will take you right to the Juntec AliExpress uh, page. And currently, as it sits right now, they're $199. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that price. It might be a little on the high end. You know, if they could get that down to like 150 or something, I'd say, yeah, I'd definitely be a buy. But it's not bad. And I'll also leave a link in the description to the manufacturer's YouTube page, which will show all the features that I did not cover. I only covered a small fraction of what this thing can do. If you want my old signal generator, leave a comment down below that you want it. And one week from when I post this video, I will come up with some way to randomly pick a comment and I will ship it to you for free. I'll lower 48 states only. And uh, I'll see you all back in a week. Thanks for watching.